running this channel? <laughs> Sometimes you forget to hit the record button. Oh my god! It's totally fine. Hey everybody, I'm Tony, my pronouns are they, them. <laughs> I'm Hal, my pronouns are also they, them, and we thought we were recording for like 20 fucking ass minutes. It was only like five or whatever. Alright, so today we're playing your royal gayness. Uh, so this comes away of us uh, by Lizard Hazard Games. So thanks for the key. Uh, so and you can check out the description if you want to go check out the Steam page. This game just came out. And uh, we're real excited for it. We played the demo a long time ago, and yeah, I'm gl I'm happy to play it. So let's get going. Shit. Uh, so Mal's going to take uh, control of most character voices. I'm going to be a couple of the advisors, oh, God. Uh, as well as the, you know. Gayness. This is the third time I've heard Tony say all of this. That's fine. Words. We're powering through. Sometimes you, sometimes you get a rehearsal episode. It looks like our carriage has arrived. Are you sure everything's all right, son? We'll be gone for two whole months after all. Dad, I'm not a kid anymore. I can handle it. Ugh. Are you sure? I seem to recall that you nearly broke into tears when the cook burned your dessert last week. I didn't cry. And even if I did, the death of a creme brulee warrants a few tears. It's the king of desserts, after all. You're not shedding tears when the actual king is leaving, though. Stop teasing him, dear. We're keeping the carriage waiting. We'll miss you very much, darling. Keep your wits about and you'll do just fine. <laughs> we didn't even get to finish our game. You won't have time to think about games while you're ruling. <laughs> but I promise we'll finish it when your father and I return. That was a video game joke. Yep. All right. Yep, 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 yep. You'll be a real man by the time we'll return. Ruling a kingdom tends to do that to you. Our little prince all grown up. Maybe you'll even find a cute girlfriend while we're gone. Uh, yeah, but maybe. Mm. Oh no. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're so fucking happy Goodbye about it. Bye now. See you in a few months. And so our parents fucked off and <laughs> now we've got to deal with your royal gayness. Oh. Oh. Uh -oh. Now, hey, as you all this. know, we've gathered here today to witness a transformation. Our dear Crown Prince Amir is taking the throne. It is only temporary, but a great responsibility nevertheless. For 60 days, the prince will rule in his parents, the honorable king and queen, stead. It feels like yesterday that he was playing in the garden with his toys. A marvelous blessing to the royal couple. His birth was truly a miracle. Oh, really, really, really talking us up. As an only child, his parents' hopes and dreams rest on him. He is no longer a child, but he remains the sole, rightful heir to the throne of Almarahij. It's my honor to introduce you to Prince Amir and his first words as a ruler. We're going to do great. I have a strong feeling about this. Uh, a great applause booms in the royal halls. The citizens are curious to hear my words. I bet some of them are hoping that I fail, just so they can gossip about it for the next few weeks. Mm -hmm. I step in front of the audience and take a deep breath. Here we go. I feel like I'm channeling some of my Noel voice from our uh, butterfly suit. You are 100% just doing your Noel voice. I'm okay with that. <laughs> uh, so we have a, we have our four stats right here, and these are going to be very important stats. They're going to determine all sorts of things, considering how much like how many different paths this game has. Because uh, based on the demo alone, like there are quite a few ways that, ways that you can go with it. So I'm excited to see where we go. It's great to see so many of you here today. I feel honored by the presence of each and every one of you, but most importantly, I want to thank one very special group. The common folk, the backbone of this nation. Oh God. I hope to follow in the footsteps of my parents, under whose rule the kingdom has prospered. So we got a little boost to our Ooh. happiness of the common folk. I may be inexperienced, but worry not. My parents left their three trusted advisors to guide me. Our Drake Master Magda, who kindly introduced me, is an expert on war and battle. She will keep us safe. My honorable parents also left their spy master and court wizard with me. <laughs> Look at that. Point. I know. It's Cute. Like, it's almost like you'd take a you'd have someone take a picture of you as you do something like that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's like, hey, do a cute pose. And that's yeah. I don't know, maybe this is what I would do during a speech. Although probably much Especially worse. if you were a prince of some kind. Mm hmm A royal gayness, if you will. Uh-huh. Thanks to my spy master, Almar Ahij is always up to date with the latest information the cur of the cur 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 current <laughs> political situation. Wow. As for my court wizard, well, 
It can brew the best potions in all of Terra Iris. Channeling your inner crow with that one, I, I, can, I can tell. <laughs> with their help, I will rule all Marahij to the best of my abilities. This I can guarantee. Before I end my speech, I would like to make one request to the people of Almarahij. Encourage your son to... Sure! Uh, sure. I, see, I, I think I... I hate this option. I want to... I think here I'm going to go and create a strong populist nationalist movement. So. No! Why? No. <laughs> well... Tony, why? I mean, we are a monarchy. I'm just going to throw that out there. I mean, yes! Encourage your sons and daughters uh, to enlist in the army so that our country can be safe. Uh, look at our little God. boost that we got there. Now it is time to celebrate. Eat, drink, and make merry. The guests cheer and clap, so I can only assume my speech went at least decently. Great speech, G. Thanks. I was shaking in my boots the whole time, and I thought my heart would jump out of my chest. That's all right. It doesn't matter how you feel on the inside. The people will only see what you present to them. A mask of sorts, if you will. And my mask was... all right? Your mask was awesome. Oh, man. I already like our spy I master. I know. They're very cute. Ugh. Forgive me for troubling you, your highness. I am Lord Oakstrong from the Kingdom of Aeroth. I've heard a lot about you, my lord, so I am thrilled to finally meet you. What a cool character design. I agree, it is a cool character design. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna be polite? No, we're- yes, that one. Please, No, Tony. I agree, because, like, I think ultimately what we need to- Aerith, you call a forest a kingdom? Ridiculous. Tony! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> do you want to do good at this game? I think we're gonna do great at this game. Go what? ahead, Mal, read that. How dare you insult my homeland? Your parents clearly spent no time teaching you manners. I will waste no more time here. Goodbye. <laughs> Good riddance. Jesus H. <laughs> Yo, Amir, what in the world are you doing? Are you out of your mind? Look at the spy master's face. Yeah, because you did a fucking stupid ass thing, Tony. Oh. Seraph, don't talk to fucking Amir about this. Talk to Tony. <laughs> How you treat people from other countries affects your relationships with that kingdom. Next time, you'd better think before you speak. I do what I want. I'm in charge now. Oh, God. Tony, why this? <sighs> oh, no, no, my friend. I am taking the no! cart with No, no. I wait. Hold up. I fucking ass refuse. I loved doing this voice the first time. And by God, I'm going to do it again. Okay. Boss, we have an emergency. Oh, God. What is it, Barry? I accidentally mixed a potion of fire breath in the punch. Barry, you old fool. How did you manage to do that? My potion cupboard is color-coded. Green, blue, purple, red, yellow. It looks like a rainbow. It looks gay. <laughs> cool. Anyway, I probably shouldn't have put strawberry juice next to the fiery stuff. I need to fix this somehow. Okay, okay, I like this. I can accidentally trip and knock over the punch. That's pretty good. I could do another speech and inform people of the dangers of the punch. I could tell my servants to discreetly take away the punch bowl. Um, I'm liking the first and the last option. I also like the first and last option. I like the last option because it could work well, but I think it could also work disastrously. Yeah, agreed. My theory, the servants are going to drink the punch. Oh, no. Okay, so to have them discreetly take it away. Those guests won't be happy to see their punch taken away. Oh no, I guess, but it's better than the alternative. You don't understand. Have you seen that glint in their eyes? They do look pretty thirsty. They sure are craving that punch. Look, here come the servants. Uh-oh. I wouldn't want to be in their shoes right now. Oh no, someone's rolling up their sleeves. Yep, Seems like it's gonna get violent. Wow, the people are just fucking just going all Yeah, they're ready to go. They're ready to throw down. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, shit. Is that a mall I see? And a crossbow? How are these guests smuggling weapons into the castle? Run, servants, run. <laughs> <gasps> wow. Is everything all right, my liege? My body is not hurt, but I can't say the same about my pride. Disaster averted, huh? Good work out there. What do you mean? I was in no shape or form 
good. Castle didn't burn. Hey. Oh, I see. Castle didn't burn down. Guess went home relatively safe and sound. I suppose it could have been much worse, my liege. We did lose a couple of soldiers who went to settle the fight. <gasps> Lost a couple soldiers? Like, they're fucking dead. They fucking died? The people in Al Marahij take punch very seriously. I guess so. It got that violent? They're not dead. Just in need of a long holiday. Those guests were vicious. What a wild day, though. <gasps> Our military lost 20 might, Shit. implying that we have, like, maybe five dudes. <laughs> Damn. And it's only going to get wilder. Please, no. I'm already dead tired. Will you be all right, my liege? You can carry, you carry a heavy burden. Because I'm gay? Well, that too, even though I meant the crown. Do you wish to talk about it? I'm all right for now. It's sad, really, that I've gotten so used to living in a lie. Maybe you can make things better. You wield a lot of power now. Oh, the suspicion meter shows how suspicious people are of your sexuality. Oh, God, too real. That would, that would be legit useful. I know. Why don't we have a fucking meter like this? Like, we could just, like, consult. Like, we could look inside our jacket and just see a meter go up <laughs> or down. And we're like, woo! Just, or like, got, like, a little watch on our wrist. Just, like... Okay. Well, well, oh. well. If you had to watch, that'd be like, oh, it looks like it's gay o'clock population <laughs> me. Oh God, and that's really, really giving it away when you have to say that every hour on the every hour. Every hour on the hour. Uh, uh, your choices affect how others view you, so be careful. If the meter fills up, you'll have to face challenges. So it's not a, it's not a game over state. It's just challenging. Okay. Just watch the suspicion meter on the top left for now. If the suspicion levels rise too high, there could be problems. Oh, I know. Until I make some changes around here, it's probably best for me to hide my sexuality. <sighs> Cheer up, G. I'll sneak you some leftover cake from the kitchens. I do like cake. All right, but no punch. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, that was actually kind of fun. <laughs> it was like a like a like a sitcom ask ending. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Your Grace, I'm sorry to disturb your rest, but there are some matters that need your attention. You're expected to manage Almar Ahija's resources, laws, and foreign relations daily. Also, Barry asked me to tell you that now's a good time to go to the options and tick some boxes if you have generously supported the growth of Almar Ahij. That's for people who backed the Kickstarter. Ooh. Uh, not sure what that means, but Barry says he can make a special someone appear if you do interesting god should we do that do you i think? don't know like because we can just make these characters appear i don't know who they are i also don't know who they are we're uh i'm gonna keep them let's, unchecked for yeah, now let's keep them unchecked for now okay done good we can get back to managing the kingdom that's funny to me i actually did do oh <gasps> whoa 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 oh damn whoa this is so shit whoa! Okay, this was not in the demo. All right, in the management phase, you can give commands to your advisors, brew potions, set laws, check your stats, and read in the library. Oh my god. All right, I'm all about this. Choose dungeon to visit the dungeon? Hell yeah. Don't worry, G, I'm here to help. Okay, you can also spy to find inf about information about princes and princesses. If you want to try dating a prince, spy on him first to find out his <laughs> interests. It's like the, it's like back then what OkCupid okay is now. Ah. Uh. Whoa, I am blown away. I'm kind of overwhelmed almost. Okay, so it seems like we should delegate at all times, always keeping them busy. Uh -huh, let's let's uh -huh. go take a look over here. I wow. wonder if doing these things... Oh! Whoa! Wow. This is the laws page. Here you can affect the state of your kingdom. Each law is a loyalty cost. Oh, interesting. Wow. So presumably our nobles and... Oh, oh, interesting. It'll affect other things as well. Huh. So. It's see. Oh, OK. All right. So Great. it seems like we have a bunch of different things that will enable us to, like, increase our stats in different ways. Uh huh. I like, <laughs> I like how tax strikes back is extort even more money from your citizens. I mean, it ain't lying. OK, free education for children. Eh, it looks like the, the coffer won't like that. Well, and like, look, see, all of them take away loyalty from the nobility. I assume because this is like helping the common folk, maybe? 
Ah, I see. So I like how this is like a... <laughs> so I don't think we this should is... do any of these now. No, I don't think we'll be able to do any of them now. Uh, I like how this is like a large commentary on our society, except perhaps for the fact that national security is something that also... Well, I don't know. Maybe, I guess we don't have to increase all of them. Yeah, that's we totally don't. Although national security might be helpful for the dungeon. Uh, uh, so the stats page, we can see a mere stats. We can Ooh, improve stats. We can change his outfit. Unlock them by playing the game. Fucking sick. Oh, Whoa. wait, wait. Oh, oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. That's a good one. I, well, we can only have, is that Loki? Look at that. Look at that. We're just like. fucking ass Loki outfit. That My assumption is that if we delve in the dungeons, maybe. Oh, look at this oh, one. Oh, I love the hat. Fuck. God. Okay, let's go with this one for now because I really like this one, and it's the uh, the only one we've got. Okay, so uh, we have talent, nerve, uniqueness, Ooh. <laughs> and charisma. All right, good. So, uh, Aerith, despite my heavily insulting them, <laughs> I seems know about par. they're not really worried about. It. So we also have Obsidia and, and Nupfer Yarreperfell. That was a wonderful. Wonderfully well done. Thanks. <gasps> and there's a fucking glossary. Jesus Christ on a dick. God. <laughs> this is so much more fleshed out than I even thought it could be. Wow. Oh, yes. God. It's very good. It's All very, right. very good. Okay. I need to calm myself. Let's, let's, let's figure this out. Let's look at these potions. And then we'll get back to the uh -huh. game, I promise. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So, mm -hmm. Chemical X, the special concoction was made from Barry's leftover ingredients. Who knows what it'll do to you, but Barry says it should be safe enough to drink. Okay. Okay. Chrono Soda. With this potion, you can go back in time. Well, sort of. Barry hasn't perfected the, perfected the recipe yet, so one potion can only take you so far. Used to gain an extra day. Oh. The beard. Mm. Tired of people questioning your manliness? Having trouble fitting the mold? Despair no more. With the beard potion, you can seem like the straight man society wants you to be. Oh my god. L-M-A-O. All right, so... What I want to do is I want to send the court wizard out to do things. Mm -hmm. um, and then I would like to see if it's possible to also brew a potion at the same time. Well, so it, it looks like three days improve relations. Like, is that what he's doing right now? And he'll be occupied with that for three days? Or can you send him off to do that? And he will be occupied with that for three days. Uh, let's find out. Oh, well, that's all he can do for now. But he's on it, boss. I see. So that that does take up stuff. So, right, so, right. all right, all right. So we can't do anything for now. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I do want more army, but I also want my. No, let's get more army let's for now. More army, and let's do let's do gather loyalty. Yes, we're gonna need that loyalty. Yeah, hell yeah, got <laughs> you back, G. I really like their little quips. I know. Should we try the dungeon? Oh gosh. Fuck it. Let's go yeah, take let's a look. Yeah, let's go see. <gasps> oh, oh, we don't have any royal prisoners. Interesting. Interesting. All right, let's 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 return. Common prisoners. Ooh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I, I like how it goes right yeah, back to the chair. Yeah, I know music. it's so good. Okay, I think we're done for right now. Okay. Nice. All right. Nothing special happened today. Yeah, that was my first day. Time to head to bed. Do you just shout that to yourself as you go to sleep, Mel? I mean. That's actually how I get to sleep. Like, I just lay down perfectly flat and perfectly still with my arms on my sides. And I just say, time to go to bed. Time it, to go to bed. It's time to really go to bed. Freaky. I've until witnessed I fall this. asleep. In fact, I'm in the room next to Mal. Yeah, we, we just together. moved rooms. It's, it sucks. I'm, it like, keeps me awake for hours. Time to hold some audiences. To be fair, the microwave keeps me awake for hours. Yeah, that's true. Hey, boss. Oh, no. Court wizard? Oh, I, uh... Yes, you've already seen, huh? It's kind of hard not to when the entire co city is covered in this sparkle. Oh, this is so fun. We saw this in the demo, but it didn't have the graphics. Yeah. Glitter, boss. It's called glitter. Yes, whatever. Glitter. It's very pretty. It's also a nuisance. How do we get rid of it? Good question. I could do some research and see what I can find. I'd bet my scales this is magical in nature. Your what? Uh, nothing. Or if he, you don't mind waiting it out a little longer. I know a wizard by the name of Glittericus who specializes in this stuff. You know, I think it's a, about time we uh, address the lizard in the room. That yeah. I, I'm pretty sure Barry doesn't want anyone to know that Barry's a lizard. Yeah. 
which I'm all God, about. God, it's so good. I love Barry. All right, so we can maybe talk to Glitter. I wonder just... if he's wearing blue jeans under that robe. No, no, we're not. <laughs> no, we can't. <laughs> Did he seriously name it after himself? What? No, complete coincidence. So which will it be? Uh, guess who's got a homework assignment, Barry? Or find Glittericus, he'll know what's the matter. I think I like Glittericus because... Mm, Barry doesn't seem to be, like, the most competent, and we've already set him out on, like, one task, so I feel like finding some guy to do it for him is maybe better. Yeah, I'm all about that. All right. Okay. Will do, boss. Go find Glittericus. Oh, and other stuff is happening. <gasps> my liege, we have heard disturbing news of a giant wolf eating grandmothers in the northern woods. Oh, my woods. God, I really liked this one from the demo. Grandmothers? Why only grandmothers? I haven't the foggiest idea, my liege. Regardless, should we investigate? Uh. <laughs> so if you go check out uh, so our playthrough at the demo, if you want to see what happens when we just say it's no, it's just some grandmothers. But this time we're gonna go see. It. No, we're, this no. time we're gonna uh, find out where the wolf is hiding. Thank you. Understood. Let's. Bye. Woo! That's it for the day. No more audiences. I'm done. Nice. Management phase. Yeah, let's manage. Okay. Well, they're pretty occupied. All right, so we've got um, basically a, a couple more. Let's see. Yeah, a couple more days here, and then one more day with those two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gosh, I guess we just keep going. Wait, stats? Can we improve our stats at all? I think that'll happen as we do various I things. See, I see, I see. Okay, and library is just our cheat sheet. Okay. It's largely a cheat sheet, I think. Mm -hmm, it kind of mm -hmm. gives us a little bit of info about here. God. Nice. Should we read some of these? Don't know. Here, how about this? We'll read one each day. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's let's just no. Well, this is like the general world. Okay. Terra Iris was formed after a cataclysmic earthquake shook the world. The tribes of the land came together to survive the aftermath, naming their transfigured land Terra Iris. The land began with unity, but throughout the years, that unity slowly faded away. Many wars have been fought, and many disputes had to be solved. But in the end, peace was formed between the four kingdoms of Terra Iris. To the west are the forests of Eroth. Mm -hmm. In the north, the windy lands of Nupfer Yar <laughs> To the east, the dark halls of Obsidia. And in the south lie the shimmering dunes of Almarahij. Okay. Interesting. So this almost sounds like a post, post, post apocalypse. It, it kind of does, doesn't it? That's, uh, that's a good little flavor to add. Any, anything post the post apocalypse, I'm all about. Hell yeah. There weren't any special events today. How boring. Well, time to head to bed. 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 <gasps> a letter Ooh, has arrived. From whom? That's, this is such a pretty illustration. It's really good. All right. And if you want to see us read this letter, join us for the next episode of Your Royal Gayness. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. And maybe go check out the game at the link below. Yeah, it's super fun. Uh, also, you know what? You should maybe take a look at our Patreon as well. It's there in the end cart. Just waiting for you. All right. See you later. See you later. <laughs> see, mm, mm, later. Later.